Capricorn, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. This is 70 Tarot. Capricorn, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned until the end of your reading, where I will use Oracle cards to pull your affirmation for today and a final message from the universe tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in, see what we got going on for you right now. There's a little bit of lack of heart coherence, a little bit of lack of trust. The universe is telling you right now that can go away very easily the moment that you follow your emotions, which are your instincts. Your emotions are the steering wheel of your journey. It's your emotional guiding system. Right now, the universe gives you warning signs and also synchronicities through your instincts, right? Feelings and images. That's why a lot of times we tend to think we had an idea. It's the universe. The universe is telling you that there is some sort of jammed signal. They're having a hard time getting through. And right now, the only reason they're having a hard time getting through is because the mind, the fear is taking over. So right now, they're telling you to clear this energy block, this love block, money block, by listening to your instincts. So I'll give you an example. Imagine you've been waiting to... Uh, start a business. Maybe ask the universe, universe, you know, show me how to start a business. Now, the universe, it's one thing to manifest something, but it's another thing to capitalize on that manifestation. Because imagine you manifested someone coming into your life, like a coworker, say, hey, I learned of this great franchise that we could do together. Here's the information. Do some due diligence. You do your due diligence. You're like, this is fantastic. But then the mind comes in and goes, fear, fear, fear. So then rather than listen to your instincts, your heart, this is how the universe speaks to you, feelings, you listen to your mind. And that's why the universe is telling you to trust in divine detours. Everything happens for a reason. They want you listening to your instincts because good things are going to come from that. And right now, by focusing your awareness onto that, it will manifest organically. Now, something very mystical, magical, and spiritual is about to happen for you. Something very quantum, right? You got the star card. There's something, a big uh, opportunity that your angels want you to capitalize on. And right now, they're telling you to control what you can and accept what you can. So this is so important because they need your energy fully uh, aware. And what this really means is like you don't control the weather, you don't control the traffic, and you don't control the past, right? What they want you to do is focus on what you do control. You control your reactions and opinions that determines how you think and feel how you think and how you feel creates your state of being your state of being is your reality dr joe so what does that really mean right now the universe is telling you that it wants to bring you on some sort of journey your angels and guides are going to be showing you the yellow brick road the infallible guide of what to do but in order to go on this journey in order to really take advantage of it your attention your awareness has to be in the present moment because happiness is found in the present moment so you're being told right now to dream the world into being which really means visualize in the present moment see yourself rich in the present moment act as if act as if you're already rich act as if you're already with your soulmate think it feel it achieve it invest in yourself rather than you know visualize uh, a favorite actress you know living in a beautiful house visualize yourself in that house right let spirit be your guide your angels want to be your guide when you start doing that when you start visualizing your own face doing those things now your angels can enter your life because again your emotions your frequency your feelings match theirs and now you guys are communicating and the jam signal is gone now you also have the moon and you have the lover's card so there is a shadow that is there from a previous relationship or current relationship that's preventing you from loving unconditionally. And right now, the universe is telling you that freedom is the only worthy goal. So when you look at it from that perspective, love will become natural for you once again. So remember, like, why do you want to love? Because you want to experience stuff. You want to have the freedom to experience. Why do you want to get rich? You also want to have the freedom to say, no, I'm not coming to work, or yes, I'll fly first class. But freedom, right? When you look at it from that perspective, now, universe spirit, which has a plan, is actually able to implement it for you because your awareness is there. Remember, the universe can only give you as much as you can handle. So if you are ready, if you are aware, when you look at it from that perspective, you're telling the universe, I can handle more, and now new opportunities will enter your life. Now, you got the two of wands and the hermit. 
So right now your angels are telling you that in order for you to move on to the next stage in your life financially, you have to be decisive. They don't want that one foot in, one foot out approach. No wobbly energy because that's uncertain. Remember, how you do anything is how you do everything. If you resist anything, you resist everything. So they want you to be confident, which really means act with purpose, speak with kindness, right? Acting with purpose means intention. Have intention with what you do. Speaking with kindness means don't be so hard on yourself. Be here now. Be present. So what does that really mean? Like for example, if you are washing the dishes, be the best dishwasher because then you'll get rich and I'll show you how. If you're going for a walk, breathe deep because then you'll meet your soulmate. I'll show you how. If you are having a conversation, give that person your attention. Be in the present moment. Why? Because how you do anything is how you do everything, right? So when you are focusing on being the best at any small task that you do, when it comes to starting a business, you'll have no fear. When it comes to being in a relationship, you'll easily be able to be giving that person your awareness without you know being you know not all there. And that's what the universe is telling you right now. It's time Time to clear up some energy because you got the 10 of wands, 5 of wands. And right now you're being told that there is some sort of un, un, almost like an energy here that's not uh, sustainable, right? There's some sort of energy in your life right now. There's something going on in your life right now that you're either emotionally or financially invested in that's preventing you from being able to let go of. And right now the universe is telling you to control your reactions and you'll be able to control your life. And that's the first step to clear this energy and really be free be at peace, find freedom, right? And what that really means is like, understand that like, if it's raining outside and your reaction is like, oh, it's raining, it's, it's, it's going to affect different parts of your life. Instead, your reaction could be, wow, it's gonna be luscious and green. Or if you hit traffic, rather than be like, oh, it's traffic, you could be like, you know what? Time to throw on that podcast, that audio book. But when your reaction is positive, when you are in control of your reactions, you're able to control your life. And then you're telling the universe, I'm ready for more. And that's why it's so important to bring that gentle touch, right? Just really look at things, just collect data. Don't be in such a rush to get things done because then you will really, you know, be going with the flow more. It's more of a aligned, grounded, intuitive energy, which is exactly what you want to quantum entangle with. Now you got the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So something big financially is about to take place for you. It does require your empathic energy of confidence. And right now, Source is telling you to seek wisdom but not wealth, right? What that really means is don't ask the universe to make a million dollars. Ask the universe to show you how to make a million dollars annually, right? Takes the same energy to dream big than small. So right now, the universe is telling you, be very strategic about your desire. Your angels and guides, because they're free will, they can never second guess you. Same thing with your subconscious. When the conscious mind says something, the subconscious mind doesn't say, are you sure? It never does that. Same thing with the universe. It just says, your wish is my command. So right now, the universe is telling you, you know, ask them to be shown and taught how to make lots of money, not just get a one sum payment, like a bonus or inheritance, or just learn how to be monetize a passion for example, and this is what it's required for you to believe in yourself. When you believe in yourself and you are loyal to what you love, which is your joy, your bliss, your passion, then everything becomes effortless and that's when things really start booming for you organically. All right, Capricorn, now time for your affirmation of the day. Write the following affirmation in the comment section word for word. And what you're doing is you're quantum entangling with this energy. You're telling the universe, I am fully aware of this lesson. I don't need to learn this anymore. Bring me new possibilities. Bring me new outcomes, right? So write the following affirmation down in the comment section word for word. And your affirmation for today is the universe has a plan greater than mine. It doesn't get better than that. So whatever you think you want, the universe has something even better in store. Write this down in the comment section. The universe has a plan greater than mine. When you're writing this down, remember, you're telling the universe, I fully trust, I fully am aware that you are abundant and that I am going to get something very good, which is my birthright. The universe has a plan greater than mine. Write that down in the comment section and like this video and let the universe know that you are ready. All right, now final message from the universe. Let's see what the final message is. Final message is, Turn on your love light. I love that. Turn on your love light. Love this card. Now the message is sometimes the best way to remain sane is to love like crazy. Works for me, the universe, right? The universe is telling you, don't put your guard up. Love unconditionally, right? Don't worry about what other people are doing. Everything, everyone's on their journey. If someone's not showing love and respect that, it's only because they're insecure. All you have to do is, you know, just 
extend the olive branch, right? Do you, by you shining, by you being your genuine, authentic self, by you loving like crazy, you are actually living life fearlessly. And that's what it comes down to. And that's what the universe rewards every single time. All right, Capricorn, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.